Bread's wisdom. <laughs> I need this to be perfect! You know this is for the fruit cup, so I need to look just like a soccer ball! Hey! Why are you being so rough with my face? If you're not careful, I'll send you to jail! Yes, ma'am. I'll watch out. Add some more paint here. I want to look really skinny. Your Majesty! We Gracious! How dare you startle me today! You're fired! Send this fool to jail for the rest of his life! Uh, no, wait! Uh, uh, I hate uh, those who are loud. Uh, what is it? Your Majesty, please! There are two women fighting over a baby, and each one says the baby is theirs! They want the Queen to decide the rightful mother. Oh? Well, of course they would. I'm the wisest and fairest, aren't I? Let me hear their case. Oh. 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 They both look the same to me. Please believe me! She's a liar! Huh? That Tayaki says my baby is hers! <laughs> How dare you! Queen, this baby is clearly mine! She and I have the same face and everything! You monster! Huh? You two look nothing alike! Your brain was fried too long! You're filling huh? with me, you stupid! <laughs> I couldn't have been I'm not telling you empty <laughs> loaf! These peasants and their petty problems are really starting to get me down. Do you two have any bright ideas? <laughs> Ah, your oh. majesty, I've got it. Why don't we just ask the baby who its mother is? That's what I'm talking about. Good thing I thought of it. <laughs> Bring the little brat over to my throne. <laughs> All right, kid. Tell me which fish cake is your mama. <laughs> oh, you beast! How dare you spit on your queen! Seize her! Take her to the jail we reserve for babies! <gasps> Your Highness, I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as a jail for babies. Very well. Then I'll send you to jail instead! Oh, no, Your Majesty! Ah! Have mercy! I have a family! No! <laughs> you have anything smart to share? Uh, nope! I'm just gonna send myself to jail. I'm surrounded by half-baked fools. Who's going to help me with this? <laughs> Bread, surely you have some bright ideas. Uh, 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 sure. Every mother thinks their child is the most beautiful in the world. Uh -huh. Even if it's hideous, she'll think it's a chip off the old block. A chip? Tayaki have chips? I'll use that idea to find out which one is the real mother. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> ah! Ugly power! Brand haircut! And burnt to a crisp! <laughs> less and less cute by the second! Lastly, the most unattractive type of hair, a mustache! <gasps> Sweet crust, what have you done? Uh, only the real mother would still think this is an adorable little thing. Adorable uh -huh. little thing! Oh, my baby! Uh, I guess she's the real one after all. So uh, uh, huh? Look at my baby, everyone! Say cheerio, baby! Aren't you just the cutest? Huh? Huh? How huh? dare you take oh. selfies with her? <laughs> you imposter! You don't even look alike! My baby is great at taking selfies! She looks exactly uh. like her mother, which is me! <laughs> Fred, are you trying to go to jail? Uh, no, wait, hang on, I've got plenty more ideas. Some cocoa powder, a bit of brown sugar, Simple syrup and mix oh. it all together. Ta-da! Check that out! I'm jealous. She looks like she's gone on a diet. But how is this going to help us find its mother? <laughs> Watch and learn. Oh, no! My baby is so thin. You must be starving. Quick, eat up, Just look. A real mother can't stand to see her child unfed, so that one must be the real what mom after all. Huh? I don't know what kind of cheap trash you're feeding my baby, but she only eats the best formula. Like you know, this is all organic and natural milk. My baby eats better than anyone in the whole of Bakery Town, you fish face. Huh? Fish face? Well, she likes her formula warm to exactly 93 degrees Fahrenheit. You're right. 
it's 95! Oh, boy. You failed me again. Come, guards! Take this bread down to the dungeons now! Your Highness, please give me one more shot! <laughs> Your Majesty! Oh, my little boogie made a jerky! <gasps> Even a little stinky smell like sweetness. You beast! What kind of monster poops in front of her highness? This is exactly why we need baby jail! Could it be? <laughs> it is! Your highness, I know how to solve the problem. Bring an x-ray machine to this room. I don't need a machine to see that their brains are both empty! Not so fast, Your Highness. Just wait and see. One Taiyaki has red bean filling, the other is filled with custard. It's in their DNA, which would be passed down to her child! Oh. Right. So what does that mean? Uh, um, the baby's dookie was custard cream sauce! Hmm, gross. So then who's the real mom? I'm still lost. Uh, uh, this baby is a custard-filled one, so the uh, custard-filled uh, one is a real mother after all! Sweetie, I love you so much! No, I, I'm sorry, please! I was just trying to get child support! The shame! You've wasted my time! Servants, grab this pastry and send her straight to jail! What? No! <laughs> Have mercy! Ooh, that was close. I almost got sent to jail probably a hundred times. Fred? <laughs> get over here. Yes, your highness. Decent job today. And for all your hard work... Uh, could it be a giant payment? <laughs> I will kindly not send you to jail. You may continue where you left off. Uh, uh, yes, your highness. Your majesty! Oh. Um. Uh, uh, we got a big problem! The townsfolk are up in arms whether a pancake is more like bread or more like a cake! They what? Bread, be a dear and solve this for me. Uh, <laughs> yes, right away, your highness. Hmm. April Fool's Day! Good morning! Huh? Choco, what are you doing? Huh? Uh, uh, what's this? Well, sir, that's my letter of resignation. Huh? I'm quitting. Thanks a bunch. What? Oh, I don't have to call you, sir. Bye! Wait! What? Hmm. Uh, uh, why all of a sudden like this? I bought a lottery ticket and won, so I'm gonna go travel around the world. Choco? Oh, oh, please don't leave me here alone with Wilk to fight someone else! He's so useless! <laughs> Sir, you're really gullible, aren't you? Today's April Fools. I was tricking you. Uh, a little joke, huh? Mm -hmm. ah, I don't like lies! Mm -hmm. Know what I think? Let's pull a prank on Wilk. Wilk? Oh, sounds like fun! Do you have anything in mind? This is a fake thermometer. You press it against the skin like so. Fake fever. Ooh, interesting! Oh, we're gonna get Wilk so good, I can't wait! These lollipops are the best! I can't wait to share them with everyone! <gasps> Wilk, come look! Master Brett is really sick! <gasps> Master Brett! See that? He has a fever, and he's weak. It could be bad. Uh, 112, is that real? Uh, uh, Wilk, Wilk, when I'm gone, look, look after the shop for me. <laughs> Master, don't talk like that, you'll live. <laughs> I thought only the good die. You're putting your thumb around me. I thought you would live forever. Get a hold of yourself. We need to figure out how to help him. <gasps> Wait, I know. I'll make him some healing soup. Huh? <laughs> that kid's a sucker. <laughs> Some chili peppers, some garlic, oh, uh, a little ginger, perfect. Uh, uh, what is that? My family's been making this recipe for years. No one's sick after they drink this soup. They either die instantly or get better. Uh, what? Voila! Bon appetit, Master Red! You drink that? I know it doesn't smell good, but I'm sure if you drink it, you'll be good as new. <laughs> is this really necessary? Keep playing along. Uh, Chug it down. <laughs> uh, looks like this is the only way to keep up the ruse. 
<laughs> wow, great job! Spicy foods are so good for colds. Drink it all up. <laughs> well, that's good stuff. Thanks a bunch. Mm, I still got a fever. Uh, what next? Oh, actually, I feel fine. <gasps> Wait right there, sir. <laughs> All the ice from the freezer should cool your body down. Are you feeling better yet, sir? It's not working one bit. Mm, he must have pneumonia. Ah, pneumonia! That stuff smells terrible! Master Bread, climb up. I'll take you to the hospital. Uh, that's not necessary. Hang on. We're going to play Wilk for a fool. It'd be a shame to just stop here. <laughs> Hurry! If we leave now, we'll get there soon. Okay, sounds great. <coughs> Someone help! We got a case of ammonia over here! This friend used to just be a grumpy old man, but now he's sick and old! Jeez, how old does he think I am? What's the problem? Doctor, please! This old Brad has ammonia, and he's old with a fever, too! Hmm. Uh, At first look, he seems to be okay. That can't be true! He's over 112! Hmm. Well then, let's give him a shot immediately. A shot?! Uh, it's just a little pinch! No, please! I'm fine! Ah! Sir, the patient appears to be unconscious. Prepare the paddles. Crank to maximum heat. I won't lose another one. Yes, sir. Master, I'm here. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Nurse, maximum toasty level now. patient is awake again. I didn't ask to be burnt alive! Uh, His temperature's still high. Not good. Uh, tell me, Doctor, does it look like Master Bread will live? There's only one thing left to do. Surgery! Surgery? What kind of a quack doctor are Master, you? Master, uh, you have to play along. He almost burned me up! I'm finished with April Fools. I'm done! If you come clean to Wilk right now, he'll never trust you again. Even as a boss. Uh, We've come this far, just a little more. This will be the greatest prank ever. He's agreed to the surgery now. What now? <laughs> Let me go! Ah! Ah! If you don't pull through, I'll take good care of the shop for you! What the crust? We'll start with a routine lophotomy. A bread knife? Alright, stop! It's fake! It was for April Fools! The thermometer was fake. Choco made me do it. We just huh? wanted a prank for Wilk. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise? <laughs> That's right. Me and Choco were actually the ones pranking you all along. We had to come in early just to prepare for this, and that's something I never do. <laughs> and these two? Oh, we're real, but we wanted to be in on the joke with them. It was a lot of fun, too. <laughs> I have never been more frightened in my entire life. You two are going to be responsible for my new pants. <laughs> Forgive me, master. <laughs> Cursed Mansion. What up, Twisties? Today, your boy Twisty Bread's going in there. There's some gnarly legends about Fry Manor. They say some newlyweds moved in, but the place caught fire, and they became extra crispy. And their spirits haunt the place ever since. <laughs> sure feels spooky in here already. They say the couple's treasure is still in the house to this day. Uh, what's this? Is this a photo of the newlyweds? Hmm? <laughs> <gasps> what? What happened? Please tell me we won the lottery! We're on BreadTube and Twisty Bread made this crazy video! He went into this haunted house and never came out! He should have gotten a real job then! 
Going into a haunted house just for the views? What did he expect? Haven't you heard of this house before? It's a really famous one. There's supposed to be a big treasure hmm? hidden inside. What? Treasure? Yeah, fancy jewelry, golden riches left by the ghostly couple. Oh, hey, where are you going, hmm? sir? Well, where do you hmm? think? We gotta move. That treasure won't find itself. I don't want... Here's the part where we should run away. Don't think of it that way. It's a luxurious mansion filled with treasures for us to find. Don't be such scaredy buns. Ah! Ah! No! Don't <laughs> Nothing to worry about, sir. It was just some bats flying out. What? I'm not scared. I was testing you all. Wait, please. Uh -huh. I have a really bad feeling about this place, sir. Me too. Uh -huh. Can we please go home? Mm. Don't give in to fear. No one ever finds treasure by sitting in the pantry. Come on! Uh, Time's a wasting. Okay. Mm hmm. So where do you think a ghost would hide their money? Uh, uh, it's too scary. Dude, get a hold of yourself. Oh, something smells like treasure. Not this. Nope. Not that. What have we here? Just a bunch of trash in this shelf. Ah, what? What? What is it? Uh, that thing! Look! <laughs> Wilk, this is just a harmless little bug. Not a reason to freak out. A bug? I don't want to hear you scream unless it's to say you found the loot! But I can't help it if I'm afraid of cockroaches, sir! Whatever, let's search the rooms. I won't be a scaredy milk. I won't be a scaredy milk. Will stop that. You're gonna curl yourself. Go search the fridge or something. Okay. Hmm. Ah! It's, it's blood! Oh, no! Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Strawberry jam, sir. Uh, jam? Look right here. Just jam. Told you there was nothing to be afraid of, Ugh. you scaredy milk. But if I recall, you were just as afraid of it, sir. Huh. Where the crust is this treasure anyway? Maybe hmm? it's on the second floor. Ooh, they're to the second floor! Uh, oh. Hey, wait for me! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This thing freaks me out! It's just a suit of armor from medieval times. Rich people put them up all the time. Uh, it's got a weird vibe about it. Well, today, please. Uh, be right there. Ah! 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 Wilk, what now? Ah! That spooky armor thing, it moved. Huh? Nothing inside this old thing. You're just trying to scare the rest of us. You'll be okay, Wilk. <sighs> but I could have sworn that the suit of armor moved. I wouldn't lie to you. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. Chuckle, I really don't trust this house. You think it's haunted for real? Will, so far you've been scared out of your carton by a bug, and the stuff you thought was blood was jam. Listen, I'm sure there's something weird here. Ah! Stop scaring me. Ch Chuckle, behind you. Okay, what is it now? Ah! What? Did you find it? What are we screaming about now? Portrait behind you. Uh, portrait? Uh, oh, right there. What? What's the matter with you guys? My job isn't worth this. What? They just ran off like that? Serves you too right. When I find the treasure, it'll be mine. You two couldn't resist it, I see. Let's go find that treasure now! <laughs> this looks like a master bedroom. If I were a rich person, I'd hide my stuff under the bed over here. <laughs> yes, all right, all right. I thought so. Ooh, treasure found! Money! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah, ghosts, run! <laughs> Uh, huh? Why is there a bag of chips? Huh? What? What's a still warm coffee doing here? Why would a bag of chips and a warm coffee be in a place like this? Something's off. Huh? Wait, this money is super new. 
Wilk, Choco, what's this about? Yes. Uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how fast that bread ran out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought those dollar store cloths would come in so handy when hiding our stuff? Oh, man. That guy almost took all the money we stole from the banks. <laughs> what? Stole? No, nobody thwarts the bread. They need a taste of their own medicine. Hm, two can play this game, you cheese sticks. Some cream cheese on your face for a ghastly look. Blueberry and strawberry jam for bridal makeup. Hm, and this old sheet will have to do for an ancient wedding dress. <laughs> Perfect! Now you look like a nice dead ghost bride. Let's do some chocolate syrup for a scar on you. Cocoa powder mixed with some cinnamon, and then scatter that on you guys. Ta-da! A stunning ghostly couple. Ooh, you two look pretty convincing when you're all dressed up. <laughs> Time to trick those fools. Hmm. Wait, what suddenly happened to the lights? What the... Hey! <laughs> He looks just like that picture in here. Leave us alone, please. Demons be gone. Ah! <laughs> Someone, Someone save, save us! <laughs> <laughs> Serve those burglars right for a stunt like that. Huh? What's this old thing? Coco and milk? Looks a lot like Choco and Wilk. <laughs> hey, guys, this old photo looks a lot like you, too. <laughs> and their spirits haunt the place ever since. They <laughs> look just like that picture in here. Uh, uh, wait, hang on a sec. Uh, 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 <laughs> How long do you think it'll take Master Bread to come back from that place? Who knows? We could still be treasure hunting. Mm. I'm glad we got out of there and we did. I was getting the creeps in there. <laughs> Terminator Bread. I love There's nothing going on tonight. tonight. Yeah. Hey, check out the love yeah. muffins. How about we do a little target practice, huh? Ooh, that sounds sweet. Hey, what's up, you doughhead? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you okay? Hey! <laughs> Bullseye! Perfect shot. They look kind of mean. Come on, honey, let's go home. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to teach them a lesson. <laughs> what say we find our next victim, huh? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, over there! Look at that lightning! What uh, the bread is that? A monster? <laughs> Check out the tiny. <laughs> Guess Boogie's not potty trained yet, huh? <laughs> oh. He's heading this way. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you want to bite of me? <laughs> <laughs> Think you're so tough? <laughs> Please don't hurt me anymore. Just ask. I'll give you anything you want. All right. I want your clothes. My clothes? Sure, why not? Did you want the pants as well? <laughs> Thanks. Nice to meet you. Hello, large iced tea. <sighs> ah, wonderful. A refreshing way to start the morning. Huh? Hey, what's the big idea? Huh? What is this? Who, who are you? I am the Bredonator. <laughs> Bredonator? That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry I laughed at you. It's not funny at all. <laughs> Disposable cups should be terminated. Switch to reusable. Oh, but reusable is such a hassle. Hey, you! He's crushing my hand! Help Let's me! go see. Looks like in a movie. Uh, hey, they could be twins, couldn't they? Which uh, one is Master Bread? Uh, 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 leave me! Oh, good, he's not following me! <laughs> he's so fast! Taxi! Quick! Red Barber Shop! Step on it! Yeah. Uh, uh, the love of yeast! Why aren't we moving? It looks like we're stuck. Uh, what is that? Taxis are bad. Just for it, will you? Get me out of here! Uh, 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 what? 
Why are you doing this to me? Why are you taking a taxi when your shop is only a three minute walk? You're destroying the environment. Well, see, sometimes I'm running a little behind and... Emissions from cars can be very harmful. They pollute the air and create excess smog. So take it from me, if you can walk. <laughs> I've been branded! <laughs> uh, I hope he didn't follow me here. Mr. Bread, uh, what is it? Did something happen? Uh, yeah, this crazy oh. bread was following me, and I tried to run it. Ah! How the bread did you get here before me? Wilk, Choco, there he is, right there! So is he like uh, your brother? Yeah, you're pretty, I do. Uh, are you crazy? This guy's an alien robot monster! We have to run. Ah! Uh, what is it you want from me anyway? I want nothing from you. I came to teach you about the environment. The environment? But why? Perhaps you've not been listening to me. Uh, <laughs> let's take it easy, you two. I'll turn on the air conditioner and we can... Conditioned air is completely unnecessary. If you turn on your air conditioner, carbon dioxide levels will rise, and that will make the Earth warmer. If the Earth warms by two degrees, sea levels will rise, and the cities will be flooded. Millions of baked goods may one day be lost. Electric fans are a safer choice. Well, I guess you're right. <gasps> All right! Huh? Uh. Choco, what are you yelling about? Did something exciting happen? Mm-hmm. The dress I ordered is coming today. I can't wait to wear it. <gasps> What's wrong with you? Choco, do you know how much water is used to make the clothing we wear? 2,000 liters are used to make a single T-shirt. 10,000 liters are used to make a pair of jeans. Can that be true? Dyeing fabrics for clothes causes a great amount of water pollution. From now on, buy only what you need. I didn't know. I'll do better. Bread, Will, <gasps> Choco. You don't understand that pollution is very serious. So I am here to teach you all how you can make a difference. <laughs> uh, looks empty. Oh, Will, bring me a new one. Huh? Um, why'd you do that? Looks to me like there's still a lot left. You just have to give it a good shake. Uh, huh? Hi, Wilk here. Oh, hey, Cheese. Huh. Wasting water is very dangerous. Baked goods can get burned due to water scarcity. Use water more efficiently, Wilk. Okay. I'd like to place an order. The sushi special with the side salad. Mm. Uh, what are you doing? 8.5 million pieces of trash are from food deliveries. Homemade meals are more responsible. Uh, uh, that Rednator guy's a total pain in the crust! Who does that loaf think he is? Hey, you! Uh, uh, you didn't separate uh, your recyclables. What are you doing? Tissues aren't recyclable. Spray cans are plastic. The newspaper should be separated. So get separating. Why are you making life harder for me? Mr. Bread, what's wrong? What did the Breadinator do to you now? The Breadinator decided to empty my trash on the street. What? On the street? That is so rude. Well, he did not separate his recyclables. This is imperative so that paper and plastic can be reused in the future. Mixing paper and plastic is in the end of the world! Ah, ah. Big red towns collapsing due to that selfish, godless thinking! Uh, uh. Hang on! You're from the future, aren't you? That's right. The town's courting disaster. I know because I've seen the consequences. Uh. Wait, what? Look, the hologram! Due to pollution, water is undrinkable. The air has become so poisoned that every citizen wears a gas mask. Is that really our future? Master Brett, I'm scared! And while the people of Bakery Town are suffering from pollution, one man decides to make a robot in his own image. And that man is none other than Master Brett. What? Hey, that's me! Master Bread, you're crying! In the future, we'll keep suffering the effects of polluted water. Choco has become moldy due to poison there. Oh, no way! Uh, I've got mold all over me. Bread, when you saw your friends suffering from so much pollution, 
You created me and sent me to the past to save Bakery Town from a dreadful fate. So, I'm your father? It's not too late, Bread. You can save your friends and change the future, but you must protect the environment. I had no idea. I didn't realize pollution could be so serious, but now I know. I'll definitely be more careful now. Now that you understand, go forth and change the future. Will do. Yeah. Stop! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have to admit, I like being responsible. I agree. Even the air smells a lot cleaner, too. Bakery Town's future's <laughs> looking a whole lot brighter. <gasps> Excuse me, that isn't where your trash should go. Trash should go in a trash receptacle. Don't forget, cans are recyclable. Uh, my bad. We'll clean up the town one day at a time. Isn't it great, sir? Hmm. You are all working hard. And it's all thanks to you, Bredonator. We're really <laughs> grateful. That's good, because I am afraid my time is up. Uh, what time? You mean you're going? I was only built to last one week. <gasps> but that can't be! Thankfully, I was able to spread the message to you all about the dangers of pollution. Since you now possess that information, my mission is done, and I must go. No, wait. You can't go away now. We need your help. We have so much more to do. Soon my body will no longer work. Go and spread my message to all the other big goods you know. No, my robot son! <laughs> I'll be back. Please stay! <laughs> Thirty years later. <sighs> Wilk, Choco, hang in there. Predator said it wouldn't end this way. Huh? Oh. 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 <laughs> wow! Look at the sky! The dust isn't there anymore! The air is so fresh and clean! Mama, can I have a drink now? The water is much cleaner! Oh. Let me try. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. It's so good! <sighs> I can breathe freely. We'll never have to wear those masks again. Redonator uh, really uh, saved uh, us all! Master <laughs> Red! Huh? Wilk! Choco! You look so much better! <laughs> but how did it happen, sir? I'm completely mold-free. Hmm? Wait! <sighs> <sighs> Redonator, you saved the day. How can we thank you? Because of you, Bakery Town is more beautiful than ever. Yay! 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 <laughs> Bread the Fashion King. <laughs> Why is no one working? Master Bread, come check this out. Hmm? This is an app that has reviews for barber shops, and our shop is on it too. What? You mean someone reviewed me? Best barbershop ever? Talented genius? I'm bread carpet ready? Uh, I won't let the praise go to my crest. Uh, huh? Scroll down a little more. No sense of fashion? Ever look in a mirror? Master bread styling is stale? How dare they? What's wrong with the way I dress? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Don't we just have to be good at doing hair? Not enough. Customers these days also care about how we represent ourselves. If we want to be breadstagrammable, it's important that we look good doing our jobs. So we need to wear uniforms? Then let's make the best one there is! <sighs> the wrong uniform could skew lame uh, real fast. Trust me, uh, I know. We'll see who's lame. We'll get the top fashion designer to dress us. <laughs> Besting a whopping 8,000 contestants, the top fashion designer of Bakery Town is Andre oh, Bun. Oh, thank you so much. What show is this? Project Bunway, of course. It's a reality show that picks the best fashion designer in town. I knew Andre Bun was going to win. You think he's really that good? Choco, get this guy on the phone right now. He'll be our designer. Oh. 
The nerve! Huh? Why do I have to go and meet him when I'm the customer here? Andre Bun's mm. real popular right now, so we have to fit in his schedule. <gasps> How busy can the guy be? I'm the best barber in bakery town, and even I... Uh, <laughs> wow, even the shop looks spiffy. <laughs> the top fashion designer's gotta have a chic shop. <laughs> Andre, Andre, I'm so charmed to meet you, Andre Bun. A pleasure. We're from the Bread Barber Shop, and my wow. name's Choco. Bread Barber Shop, you say? Mm -hmm. Your Ooh. uniforms are badly <gasps> outmoded. <gasps> You call this bread? So crusty and in desperate need of a shave. I'm not! Don't worry. In my designs, you'll be a fashionista quicker than you can say applique. Ta-da! Now come with me. I'll handpick the perfect fit for Master Bread. Master Bread, come show us how you look. Can't wait to see you as a fashionista. <laughs> And here we have the classic barber look. What? Classic? Yes, and if I decide to put you in a classic, you'll wear it and you'll like Ooh. it! Don't you just feel as though you were transported to a barber shop in 1900s London? So dapper. It's made out of silk, and there's love in every stitch. Well then, so cute and neat, right? It's classic and it's cool. No wonder you won on Project Bunway. Hmm, I don't like it. You expect a genius to wear something this boring? What about something that's more avant-garde and unique? What? You dare to question me? Ooh, I understand. We all have different tastes after all. Mm. I think I have just the very thing. Mm. Come on. Mm. Oh. This ensemble was inspired by King Henri III of France, its haute couture. With avant-garde lines and a billowing petal shape, you'll be more ravishing than a flawless oh. summer rose. Wow, that's more like it. Mirrors my own elegance, I think. Oh, oh. I've seen this before. Hmm? Oh, yeah? Paris Fashion Week? At the Royal Museum? No, at my nephew's talent show. Oh. What? Uh. Just take a look. It's the same. I love milk. Smooth as silk. Milk makes me say yum. Uh, what is this? You expect me to wear something for children? Some top designer. I do not want to look like a child. I'm a genius barber, and that is how I want to look. Of course I can do that. Wait right here. <gasps> what is that? He's a walking pair of scissors. <sighs> the symbol of a barber. Inspired by scissors, it's called Look Sharp! Since a barber just can't thrive without them, I attached a pair of scissors front and center. Oh, you know, I think I like it. It's just perfect for you, sir. Yeah, but how are you going to bend your knees or see anything behind those scissors? You won't be able to work anymore. Oh, well, you're right. What were you thinking giving me this to wear? You have no common sense. What? Well, you have no fashion sense. Mm. I'm uncomfortable, and I can't see. Bring me something I can wear. You wait here. I have just the thing. Oh. It's so simple. Comfy, right? It's called the skinny skeleton. If I wanted something skin tight, give me something glamorous. I call this creation Beastmaster, the lion within. Well then, what do you think? I don't want to wear fur. Do you have anything less hairy? Uh, uh, not hairy at all, but so smooth. Captain Octopus. What's with all these hideous tentacles? I'll scare off my customers. Bring me something more peaceful. Right. The symbol of peace. The tranquil pigeon. Uh, tranquil pigeon. I just want something that I like. Uh, I have had it! You question my collection, the loves of my life! You're the pickiest piece of bread I've ever met! Master Bread, mm. I think Andre Bun might need a break right about now. Why not tell him exactly what you want in detail? What I want isn't that difficult. Just something avant-garde, stylish, and also simple. I want something trendy, but for Pete's sake, not too much, and also something relatively restrained. You understand? If that's the design you want, then I will make it happen. I will show you. Hmm. Master Bread, will he be okay? 
Andre Bunn seemed like he was beside himself. Ah, oh, don't worry, kid. These designers are so sensitive. If he's the best designer, then he should be able to make any design I want, right? Also, I've decided I'm going to start working out. Working out? What brought this on? I want to bulk up my muscles. If I'm going to get a new uniform, I want to really fill it out. <sighs> wow, amazing. So, let the bread building commence. How dare that arrogant loaf humiliate my designs? I'll show him what real humiliation feels like! <laughs> One week later. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, Brad! I've been expecting you. And I'm expecting my outfit is done. Sure! It's the best design I've ever done! Ta da! Uh, what? But there's nothing there! Surely you jest. Can you not see how special this is? What's special? I don't see anything there. This is called the genius style. You can only see it if your IQ's higher than a hundred. What? A hundred? Oh, no wonder. Of course I can see it. Uh -huh. I guess that's why I couldn't see anything. Just look at that. Uh, the colors! Design! It's so sophisticated! Now what are you talking about? There is nothing there. What do you mean? You can't see this beautiful ensemble? Chuckle, oh, somebody doesn't anything. have an IQ higher than a hundred. Say that again. <laughs> you have an excellent sense of fashion. I just knew you'd love it. Try it on. I think I shall. <laughs> you haughty slice. You insulted my work and now you shall pay for it. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> mm. uh. Oh my, why Master Bread? You're so very muscular. That's Whoa. not my boss. Master Bread, all that working out you did sure uh. did pay off. <sighs> I think this outfit suits me well. It's so light, it's like I'm wearing nothing at all. Who knew Master Bread could be such a powerhouse? You mean not everyone rocks a six pack like this? Well, shall we head back to the shop? Wilk, Choco, come on, time to get to work. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Wasn't that Master Bread? <laughs> Why isn't he dressed? I always oh. thought he was talented, but that bread has skills. I never thought I'd say it, but that's a hunk of handsome loaf. Oh. He must be made with extra gluten, because that Master Bread is holding it together. <laughs> you always make us look good, but you look pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. He's got abs of steel. Did you check out those arms? How did he get more customers with no clothes on him? I guess they think it's a cool look or something. Hey, Wilk, Choco, since my new outfit is such a hit, we should use Andre Bun next year, too. Okay. <sighs> They're like muscular croutons into an 